Whoops. Okay, I'm back. Let me get back into that real quick. Anyway, I just honestly feel like I just have all this time now because I spent so much time with the puppies. What's Mr. Budgrunch? Uh, he, he did figure out last night. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. He sort of looked around and said, oh my God. All right, hang on. Let me get a little straight real quick. Anyway, but that's, that's it. It made me realize you're going to have to, you know, just to tell people what you're going to have to do different. They're doing that because that's their thought process. That's why they're acting the way they're acting. So until they think differently, they're not going to change their actions. Am I wrong? So you have to not do differently. You have, it's, it's not doing different. It's, it's thinking different or you're not going to change. Anyway, YouTube is just so far behind. They don't have all these effects and all this stuff like Facebook. Oh, it's unbelievable. Okay, you little precious little man. Oops. I probably got kicked off Wi Fi. Dash. I understand why I could never really move out into the middle of nowhere. If this is how Wi-Fi is, this, on this edge of the, you know, <laughs> on this edge of the atmosphere, I'm not even that far out. Okay, so, he seems to have pulled his little thumb on it. Anyway, I like this indoor-outdoor carpet for puppies. I never used it before, like a year ago, but I like it a lot. And you can pressure wash it, and it's just all back to normal. Okay, so remember, I'm very deliberate. I don't come rushing in and, oh, oh, if somebody, every time they saw me, say, oh, cute, 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 oh, you know, I would just get to the point, oh, my God, I'm going to see them. Oh, cute oh, little peanut. He used it as a tool. He used it as a tool to get up there. So I do let them do kisses and stuff. I mean, you don't really, you know, that's why people get these things, but, you know, he's giving me the kisses. I'm not forcing myself. Most important thing, if, and if you're there, Elaine, we're gonna have to work with the kids. We, it, the, you know that dog Harley that came to see, after that girl told me I can't be, you know that the, the kids rile the dog up. That's the last thing that she said. So how can I get one real aggressive? Oh, hi, Kathy. Look at me, I'm a living dog. If you said, how can I get one real aggressive? Oh, definitely. Get your kids wrestling around. <laughs> no, that's so nice. She's going to have to go out. Hang on. Hello? Oh, my God. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, good lord. I bet your sister is 
just me. Go. You want it out. I haven't heard anything about that sister. I gotta ask me what happened. Uh-oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who's that, Aquaman? Oh, no, this is Assassin's Creed. Who's that, Aquaman? Here we go. This is the, that's the party one. Oh, that's the man. Okay, then that'll be me. Okay, so, you know, you're just, again, I'm always systemically moving away. Even right now, I'm not coming straight. Close the door. If you said no, I like when things come straight at me, and they're clearly more invested in me than I am in them. Oh, my God. I don't. I don't at all. If someone seems to be overly invested in me, he said, no, that doesn't happen, but it could, it has. I would just wonder what's going on. And if you said, that's, yeah, that's what they do. They wonder what's going on. I went out to your tray. Where's your tray? Oh, my God. Where's the tray? Oh, here it is. Here it is. So I can see if I can get him up on this platform. I mean, he's following me around. <laughs> He said that's called round the platform. You little peanut. He might be able to jump up there. I need to get a tiny footstool. Because all of them already. I hope you're there, Caroline. I hope you've been working with yours. I, I could get something put out here, even a little bucket or something. Because they already do it. You know what if you what you want the dog to say to itself. <laughs> The, the, the opportunities for success around this thing, just, what does it end? It's just, just limitless. One thing after the next that I can do right, not I'm doing everything wrong, 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 waiting for them to tell me what I'm doing wrong, wrong, wrong. I just, you know, you have to think of it as yourself. You know, if, if this feeling that you get from being around this person is, I can't do anything right. Yeah then you're not going to want to be around them. I don't want to have to watch us. I could probably use the glasses. Where's this glasses? You little peanut. You know, all the behavior has to do, look, it worked one time, so now he does it again. That's why dogs do things. When you have people that say, oh, it does this, it does that, it does all these things, it jumps on and it um, okay, the only possible explanation, then you ask him, if you said, then what? Then I say, did you just get the talk? If you said, that's a loaded question, oh, for sure. Oh, did you just get it? Didn't just get it. Hmm. Dogs can't be, didn't just get it. People claim to have had dogs their whole life and never had a dog like this. We have to take their word for it that these other dogs were highly, highly trained individuals. This dog, on the other hand, is a complete disaster. And they did the same thing they did with all these other highly trained dogs. <laughs> Kathy's like, Kathy understands my jaded. She's jaded. It just gets to the point. At some point, certain people have to stop rolling through life, acting like... You know, they're not the agent of their own misfortune. If you said, what about, oh, I'm the agent of a lot of my own misfortunes. <laughs> but with dog training, it's, it's honestly. I'm about to rip into that one woman, too. I'm going to tell Courtney before Courtney posted this article by this woman. 
So I said, where do I view this woman's work? It was another one of these. The trend I'm noticing is all these fake trainers. It was awful. I've known this woman from somewhere before. Uh, I think whether she's a fake service dog trainer or something. You know, if you have time to write an article this long about fake dog trainers, and then starts in with e-collars, if you want it to be off-leash, you're gonna, it's gonna take a long time. Without an e-collar, it's not ever gonna happen. <laughs> you little peanut! Well, listen, let me go find that other little key. Uh-oh, I think Yoshi might be saving him on. It's not gonna happen. If you said you looked at this woman's work, it was absolutely awful. Jerking dogs. Nothing, nothing was right about it. Let's just put it that way. Oh my God. You see how she made? Oh boy, here comes Crash. He's always shit coming out, Crash. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody's been beating up their brother. <laughs> you little peanut. You know, and it is. It's fine for them to whoop up on these toys and stuff, but you don't participate. You don't get in there and start doing it too. right at him. I'm making him send the friend request. Okay, so there's the same behavior. He's jumping up on my lap, but that doesn't work. All right, let me see if I can get him to lay down. Elaine, I'm so in love with this dog. If you guys don't want him, I'll completely understand. I will. I'll refund your deposit immediately. Uh, it just, it's, he just winked at me. If you said, Kelly, get a grip, you're losing your mind. I'm not. I'm now starting to notice him winking at me all the time. Elaine's <laughs> like, I'm in healthcare. I've consulted with my husband. We've both seen this type of thing before. You're clinically insane. <laughs> One time Joshua came here. After that, this woman was bullying me. This, if you said, it's some entitled narcissist. I didn't understand as much about it then. Oh, you're crazy, LOL. You're crazy, LOL. If you said, oh, this woman, Kimberly Goddard. If you said, a hardworking woman. Hardworking? The woman's never worked a day in her life. She's blonde. She's one of these ones that walks around flipping her blonde hair around, thinking everybody, especially men, do her bidding. One flip of her blonde hair. If you said she sounds like a real unlikable bitch. Oh, totally, totally. Uh, but Joshua came over just like the next day or something. And I made him, it's all on video. I said, Joshua, based on your experience of having known me for several years now, do I seem clinically insane? If you said, what did he say? <laughs> he didn't say no. He said, well, all people are somewhat, there's something, I don't know, it's all on video. We're just, you're, I'm saying to myself, it, it's, what's triggering that is more than anything is the sound. But if you said the movement, eh. movement and sound are kind of the same thing to them. Whoops.
Because, again, if they hear a sound in the bushes, you know, I mean, something's in there. Or that's what they think, anyway. Any kind of rustling in the bushes, they think it's something. If you say, I mean, if it is, I mean, a lot of times it is something. That's why they think that. It doesn't take that much. Let me see if I can find like some kind of little tiny footstool. That's gonna be the cutest thing ever. Just a little tiny puppy twirl. Oh my god, it's gonna be so cute. You just find the right height. No, it's gonna have to be the right size. Hang on. Okay, so I found this bucket. I don't know if it'll work. But... So if you said, what would you want to do? Yeah, maybe kind of put it where you had the behavior before. So there's the behavior. That's the behavior. You little peanut. <laughs> okay, so if you said, now what? I'm going to try to find that right there. Though. I think if it was about half that height, it would honestly be. If you said, why is it working? It's not working because it's a feed bucket and she smells feed in there. It needs to be high though. If you said about something like this, people use little bowls like this. Like, to me, that's the wrong height. Okay, forget about that for now. Well, I'm going to work on it though. All it takes is doing it one time and being successful. Let's do it again. Piece of this pepperoni. He apparently didn't know how to eat it. It was too, I was just gave him like a tiny piece. Oops. I'm gonna find something though to teach him a little footstool thing. Because the behavior's already there. The behavior is this. You're just going to have to be careful that the behavior doesn't turn into jumping on you. you There's the behavior right there. So he's got that. He's got this. And he can probably do a double. Whoops. Uh-oh, now he's getting up there. You little peanut. So if you said if he lays down up there... Dude, some of them do do the default down. If you said you should rough them all up, you've got to think of this thing when it's 95 pounds. If it calmly lays beside you, you can't, oh, and crash. You cannot have one. She's taking up. She said, well, just to lick the bucket. You cannot sit next to a 90 pound frenetic dog. It just, you know, that it totally explained to me when Cammie said that yesterday or the day before about the kids 
these kids riling this dog up on a daily basis, you're going to reap what you sow and you're not going to like it. You know, if you said, no, our kids push each other around all day, every day, it's just harmless fun. It's fighting and, you know, there is love getting mad and everything, but, you know, it's all in good fun. So let me see if I get him so lazy on. Just steal them. Why wouldn't they? If I get him to lay down up here, I'll be doing good. You little Mr. Peanut Man. You little Mr. Peanut Man. His feet are just like going a little bit. There, you lay down. Ooh, pain. If you say, what if he starts chewing on you? Don't do anything. If I was another puppy, I would start jumping around and reciprocal behavior. But I don't want you to do that again. This dog is going to be hockey dog that's going to get you guys, you know, through how many God knows more hockey seasons, dropping off, driving to practice, doing all these things. We're going to need a nice, big, calm dog that, you know, is going to help your son decompress. Not a wild, frenetic animal. Yeah, it is. It just kills me, though. Anytime a dog does something bad, like on the news and stuff, the people, oh, it's all in how you raise him. It's all in how you raise him. If you said, well, now I'm to the point, I say to these people, well, give us some tips on your way of raising them rather than just saying it's all in how you raise them. That would be like me saying, well, it's all in how you shoot the video, but you don't even know how to unlock the camera to get to the camera app to even take the video. Anyway, this is what you want, and it's, it is like kids, Elaine, where you're saying, I see you without looking at you. I'm completely aware of you at all times. Not you've got to go to these extremes to get my attention, because this is what's going on with these dogs. And they're jumping hysterically all over the people. This dog is now going to extremes to get these people's undivided attention, because that's the only thing there is. You know, and if you said, what is this? This is divided attention. If you said, what does it think I'm doing? Talking to the box. Talking to the box. If you don't think that I notice, I sweet crash will bring in my phone. If you said, she understands that this thing is an accessory. Uh, you've seen her do it, but she just did it the other day. I don't, I've got two phones now. Actually, got three, but one of them fell on the ground, and so she's got it, brought it to me. You know, and if you said, "What am I being most surgical about?" My hands. The worst thing I could do would be rile this puppy up. You know, if you said, "What what do I envision in my mind?" When I envision in my mind, I envision this thing 90 pounds laying there. You little Mr. Precious Little Peanut. Anyway, just a little bit of a tiny cough this morning, so. He can't leave yet, Elaine. He can't leave yet. I'm sure I got a text to Teresa and see how Bale's doing. I feel bad for her. It's true, though. I mean, and you know that too, Elaine. Things don't just suddenly erupt in a, spontaneously erupt in a closed colony. It's not like it's, it is, it's, it's, I don't know if you've ever heard of that, and I just heard of it on the news because some guy tried to go there and, like, turn them Christian or something. There's these people called the Centalese people, if you said you're saying it wrong. I probably am, but it's this island um, on the, you know, off the coast of India where it's this isolated tribe. Yeah. If you said how, they look like they're wearing loincloths. 
and they're definitely wielding spears. And like in the past, like I don't know, like in the 60s and stuff, or, like people tried to go there and like they tried to go there and like do a documentary and they were like waving all this, like trying to give them gifts and stuff. If you said, what were these people doing? They were throwing spears at them and stuff. If you said they were like pretty sophisticated tools, not really. They didn't really seem that good at throwing them. But I'm sure at a close distance, if they hurled this at you, it would kill you. But I mean, they were just doing it like to scare them away. And so they just left him alone. And I guess like a couple of times, like fishermen got washed off course and washed up on this island. If you said, well, how are they doing? They killed them immediately. If you said, well, they've got all kinds of crazy beliefs. I can only imagine that they do. I'm sure that they, you know, it's like these tribes in the Amazon. Yeah, but I guess, I don't know, like back in the 50s or something. <laughs> it's like, why do we have to get, I don't know. It's just very interesting. It's just very interesting. Um, these, some guy, I don't, I can't remember the whole story because I listen to stuff while I'm walking around training this. So I, I missed, if something happens, I missed something. But he went there somehow and kidnapped these people or something. And then somehow they got measles or something and died from this guy. You know, the typical thing, just like with the Indians, where it's a closed colony, something has to bring it in. You know, that's what I told Teresa. I said, the reason that I know it's Vail is, one, the first day after she came, she was barking and she kind of did it. I excused it away as, you know, that's what you get for, you know, doing your little bust out of little, you know. I just honestly thought it had hair caught in his throat. If he said, in hindsight, that was your conscious mind, your subconscious was not really, because I haven't seen it for a while. I probably did, so that was the first one that did it. And then if you said, how do you know from there? It takes about five days for them, it's anything to happen. So she got dropped off the day after Christmas. I just tell people, it doesn't just spontaneously Closed colony of dogs, nothing's coming in from the outside, and then suddenly, that's why I'm really never sick. I'm almost never sick. You said, when, when I had those girls that worked for me that had those little, you know, those kind of kids that are always sick, that they claim the kid got sick from the daycare. If you said that's true, well, probably is. Yes. Their kid may be the one getting the other kids sick, though, for all I know. <laughs> for all I know. I don't know anything. All I know is you just have to deal with what happens every day. And I do know, it did make me realize this morning, if you want to train dogs, if you want, and this isn't for you, Elaine, but it's probably true with sports too. If you want to be better, you're going to have to think a different way. It isn't just going to be, you're going to have to take different you're gonna to have to take different actions. The actions that you're taking, oops, oh my God, he was getting Jenga. Ah. I gotta make a video real quick. I, I get carried away and then I don't do the videos. And if I do the videos, three or four months from now when I look back, I'll say, It was a delayed reaction. I hope you saw that. He just made a circular. He just made a circular. All right, listen, you guys, I'm gonna do a quick video, and then if I if he's still going, I'll uh, run to Diamond Bar, but I'll share this on Diamond Bar, and I'll, um, I'll do the video, and then if, if he's still going, I'll, um, I'll do more. He <laughs> said, so just keep training. It's, it's true. People have this training that they're just correcting these dogs all day. It would have to be a little bit draining by the end of the day, knowing that you're going to have to get up and do that again tomorrow. It just doesn't work. I mean, it's just, if you said it would work on me, if somebody just told me day after day after day what I was doing was wrong, even though before they told me it was right, I would stop doing it. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you wouldn't stop doing it. That's the whole thing. Stop. Just because of the way they were doing it, you probably wouldn't stop. You wouldn't stop just to spite these people. Oh, you just did bite your face. So clever. They need to make a Klein Jr. 
if they had, because one, they only have one size. What if someone has a chihuahua? Is it supposed to be able to get up there? Come on, it's not gonna be able to get up there. I mean, I guess it could. I guess it could when it was older, but no, it was a puppy. It's not gonna be able to get up there. He taught himself to go up there, too. So nobody ever lured him up there, this, that, and the other. Better not get me. Alright, guys, uh-oh. Okay, let me just do a video here real quick and I will be back on no! the number. Oh hi Tori. Alright, listen to me, Tori. 
Okay, girl, you, listen, you better really follow my advice then because I've got a lot of experience with great dames. If you said I looked on your YouTube, I didn't see any great dames. I got all kinds of them on there. They're very, very, very intractable. <laughs> And you've got to be very, very careful or they don't turn out. They don't. They're just so ungodly strong. That one Shannon had, my horse fit. Oh my God. It's, it's legs, it's wrist was as big as my wrist. It's, I mean, the bones and it's legs were as big as my wrist. Anyway, all right, listen, I'm running over to Diamond Bar. I'm gonna do a video and then I'm on YouTube too though, but let me go and I'll be back in a second.